Hey everybody, welcome back to Tony's Temple. I'm your host Tony. Uh, today's topic, we're going to talk about this new HBO special, this HBO documentary called Everything is Going to Be All White. No, that, that was not, you know, an error. Not everything's going to be all right. Everything's going to be all white. And as far as I know, it's a documentary about black people pretty much being racist, complaining about white people. And you know what, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying that these people are races without a good cause i've seen a little bit of the trailer and some of the shit that they say is like is downright racism and i don't want to say that just because they black and they say this about weep white people and they are not the one empowered therefore it doesn't make it racism you know it, it's it's matter of fact it, it is racism no matter how you look at it uh, but i've only seen like a couple of seconds into the trailer it's only about like two minutes long um like i'm at least not right now Within like the first couple of seconds, like you can already tell this thing is racist. And I honestly, I don't even know how this thing even got through production. Like, were there not in people looking at this thing thinking like, hmm, this might be just a little bit racist. You might want to tone down just a little bit of that instead of saying like white people is a problem. And then like, you know, like what the like how how did they just get through production? You know, I, I'll 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 spare y'all the, the details. So let's just watch this thing or listen uh, listen uh, let's listen to it together. And, you know, I'll, I'll give you my intake on it. And, again, I'm just an Asian guy. Nobody special. Uh, this is just going to be my intake from an Asian perspective. Um, all right, let's see what it says. Okay, I know this is a podcast. You don't see it. But within the first couple of seconds, already saying, warning, this trailer may trigger capital white people. All right? That's that's see this is what I'm talking about. This is like within the first second. This is already kind of racist because if if the, if this thing had said warning, this trailer may trigger black people, you know, or like Asian people. Like why why are you singling out like these people? Like like that that's fucked up. And and when it comes to like these kind of matter, if you switch the role over, you know, like a, people are gonna raise hell because if you, if you can post a trailer saying warning, this trailer may trigger white people. No, you know, no one's gonna bat an eye. But if you say this trailer may trigger black people or gay people or trans people you know all hell is gonna break loose and we kind of i feel like we live in a society where white people is getting shit on for pretty much anything now and it's gone to the point where you can openly be racist and put out a documentary and then like you know fuck it you know you, you you're still gonna go through production but the funny thing is, as of today, what's the, the 17th, this trailer already has two and a half million views, right? And, ah, oh, damn, I should, see, I, sh I should have done this earlier, but they, I can't see the dislike because of YouTube, and YouTube is being ridiculous taking out the dislike, but it only has 2.8k upvote out of two and a half million views. That's already a bad sign. But, oh, God, I can't, I can't say. All right, let, let's keep watching most about white people is when they pretend like they're the victim <laughs> oh did she really just say that okay what if people what, what if the role were reversed again i say oh you know what i hate about black people they're always the victim um i don't know if you guys hear about this but juicy smooth yay kind of ring a bell where you kind of telling everyone that you're the victim and kind of staging everything y you know you think you think black people don't do this well, you know, it's not just exclusively white people. Like, what the, what the fuck? Like, that's that's so fucked up, man. Uh, all right, I, I don't like this lady. And, like, what I don't understand is, like, what is the point of her saying, like, when white people pretend to be the victim? Like, I don't get it. What, what, what are you trying to say with this documentary just by saying that line? You know, like, are, are you going to make it more equal for black people? Or are you, like, putting white people down? Because from my perspective, it sounds like you have a lack of empathy and a heavy heavy dose of racism towards white people like i, I don't know how other way you can see it differently other than that <laughs> oh my God. what's also annoying is when they you know when they kill us right when they kill us okay you know what the, yeah I, I th no no you're right you know what let's here, here's here's my theory of what happens every single year white people every single white person on on planet earth just gather together and come up with an agenda on killing a random race minority of people like what the fuck like do you, do you think your neighbor does that do you think the teacher for your kid does that like you think like all white people are just out there trying to kill black people like what the fuck like can you imagine a group of white people gathering together just like hmm okay 
I think we have a game plan for today, for this year, guys, for 2022. You know, we're, we're just going to kill all the black people. We already filled our quota of killing all the Vietnamese people last year. I mean, like, you know, we did pretty good. Let's kill all black people this time. Like, what, what the fuck? Where is this lady getting this shit from? The only thing I can really think of is she's probably talking about, like, police brutality, you know? And maybe there are... <sighs> she might have experienced race hate between white people and black people and when when it comes to crime but what she doesn't understand is predominantly people within the same race show more violence towards their own people than others for example white people have a tendency of doing crime towards white people and black people tend to do more crime against towards black people asian people tend to do more crime towards asian people and like if you look at it statistically it doesn't make any sense when you say that white people are killing all the black people. Like, what? Oh, God. I just, I'm just going to leave it as, you know, this, this lady doesn't know what the hell she's talking about. What is fragile about whiteness when everything has been constructed around it? Every part of who I am has been distorted or criminalized. It's really just a bunch of white lies. <laughs> white lies. Okay, look. I don't think he meant white lie as in a lie that does a minor harm. It, it's I think what he's trying to say is kind of in the same line of like mansplaining as like if you are this and you are saying something, you are mansplaining. If you are a man and you're saying something, you're mansplaining. If you're saying something, you know, if you're a white guy and you tell a lie, that's a white lie. Look, no, by any day, a lie is a lie. But you think just because it came from a white guy, like it's all a white lie? So if a black guy lies, what, like a black lie? Like, white people don't go around just telling, you know, misinforming people and just lying about everything, you know? Like, I think this, these people watch too much shit on the media and they think, like, everybody's the bad guy. You know, all the Trump supporters are all bad people. And, like, this kind of, like, it, these, these mentality is toxic and, like, these, oh, my God, I feel like these people are so delusional. You're oh, they're showing ridiculous. Trump people stuff. Okay. One of the definitions of American whiteness is ignorance. See, they always like paint white people with Trump, and like it's partially true. But like then again, there are black people and Asian people and Hispanic people voting for Trump too. So like, why don't you ever show like those people on the camera? You're always like just showing just like white people like that, and and, and like the minority kind of speaks for all people like that's that's not how that works man white people we are not your problem you are should white people today feel any responsibility for slavery <laughs> hell yeah white no no that is wrong in every single level if white people are going to feel responsible for slavery shouldn't literally every other race do the same it's not like only white people do slavery I mean, we have Asian slave master, European slave master, African slave master. Pretty much the whole entire world has slavery at one point, right? There is no discrimination when it comes to slavery on a global scale. Everybody, slavery exists in history, and like I said, it is. Sometimes you gotta accept the fact for, for what it is. So slaves been over for over hundreds of years, you know? But like for some reason, people in modern time are still are holding white people responsible for shit that like their ancestor did. You know, like this, this guy was saying that like white people should be responsible for uh, slavery, you know. OK, so what happened if this black guy? What if he was born as a white guy instead? Like, so so just because you were born a certain way, you kind of have to like repent for everything that your ancestors did. You know, and the thing is, I know damn well that he's never experienced slavery. You know, he's never had like anyone like forcefully make him work without pay. You, you know, like if that has happened to you, then okay, maybe I maybe I kind of get where you're coming from. Maybe you kind of want to re repent or you know get something back from that. But no, you are a modern man. You never experienced slavery, and slavery has almost nothing to do with you. And it's, it's like you bring up the shit in the past that doesn't no longer matter and does not reflect the current reality. And you're making the people in today's time responsible for it, even though they had absolutely nothing to do with that. Like. It makes no sense to me, guys. White Jesus or black Jesus? Jesus was not white. Think of geography. Uh, okay. Ain't no way Jesus walked around with blonde hair and blue eyes. White culture fears what? the end of the world. For us as native people, the end of the world already happened like multiple times. What? what? 
symbols and monuments. These are mementos of racism. Bring that statue down. Put up a TCBY yogurt or something. Everybody can get behind. <laughs> I have no the idea what the guy was talking about. The truth has to be told about history. Wait. From the people of color point of view. Or, what does that even mean? I don't know. Whatever. We have to make sure that these stories are told from our perspective. There's always hope. You no know saying we don't give up. It's about obliterating systemic and institutionalized racism. This is a wild place, y'all. It's a wild place. I know Harriet and Frederick be up there just like, what is they gonna do? Oh my god. I think that's the end of the trailer. Look, I'm not gonna speak on the behalf of Martin Luther King. But I think I know part of his speech enough to say where he wants to w live in a world where everyone kind of get along, you know, everyone treats fairly, there's nobody discriminating one another due to their race, right? And then he wants to live in a world where everyone can kind of live together at, in peace. And whatever this documentary, wherever the hell this thing is, is saying, is doing the exact opposite of what Martin Luther King is trying to do. All, all this doing is just victim, vi black people just victimizing themselves, blaming white people, right? And 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 for what? So so what what's like all the progress we made as a human race to the point where we in America live in the most like non-racist place ever, the best place you can possibly live on Earth, but yet you're still complaining about like racism and stuff. And like, what about all the what? What if what is what happened to everything that has been built up to this point? Like, I, I don't get it, you know. And and I'm I'm fearing what's gonna happen is okay. Look, everyone's been trying to help black people get, you know, I guess into a higher higher society or whatever they want, whatever BLM wants, right? But yet they keep on complaining, so. Like, what do you want? Do you, do you want us, do you want, like, white people to pretty much pay for the rest of your life and for the rest of, like, black people, like, forever? Or something? Like, when does it end? When does reparation end? When when do white people get to be, like, repent? Like, you don't, I don't believe this should be the case, but do you think that white people need to be repent for, like, slavery? Like, when does it end? Like, it makes no sense to me. I think I, I just don't get it. So yeah, so this is just a perspective from an Asian guy. I, I honestly don't get what the point of this documentary is. Um, I did a little bit of research. Apparently, the first episode came out where HBO, HBO had like millions of subscribers. But this show was only seen like, like 4,000 times. Which is like nothing. So you have all these people but nobody's watching your shit. You know, and you look at the trailer. Like the rating... It's completely out of proportion. There's more people disliking yourself than people that actually like it. Maybe you should take a hint. You know? Maybe all this wokeness that we've been going through where you want equality for everybody by, by like posting like racist videos or how about how much you hate white people and I don't get what you're trying to do with with this documentary. Like it, it's just it gives people a platform just to be racist and, and put the burden of blame on everybody else and take no accountability for themselves. Like, this is, this is insane. <sighs> yeah, but that's pretty much it. I don't really have much else to say other than this is pretty, pretty racist. And if you put the role around and <laughs> blame black people for everything, like, that's that's completely, like, this, this whole shit is racist. I wouldn't watch it. I wouldn't recommend anyone to watch it. But if you guys ever do watch it, um... You know, if you see anything crazy, let me know. I may just watch it for a long and give it a second review, but I don't know. I, I really don't want to give these people more more attention than they than they already got. This this the whole entire thing is a, is a travesty. This 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 is a shame. Just to even witness this thing, this is ridiculous. Anyways, I, I'm done rambling. All right, you guys have a good night. Peace.